The University of Wisconsin Stevens Point Fire Crew and the Department of Natural Resources put on an outdoor training session last weekend, offering participants the chance to earn basic wildland firefighting certification. The course was a two-part class. One weekend consisted of classroom work and the other of hands-on work learning how to use equipment on actual fires. Participants completed all their training in teams, learning how to work with each other to use the proper tools needed to fight fires. Over here we've got the burn piles and mop-up station where students are learning how to suppress and control wildfire. Behind us we have the line construction station where students are learning how to construct fire line. Over here we have the heavy equipment and gridding station where students learn how to figure out where to find things on heavy equipment, what the safety zones are, and how to use gridding to find hot spots and other areas where there's fire, as well as portable pumps that we have to carry out in the areas. And then lastly, we have the DNR engines unit where students are orientating themselves around using the DNR equipment that the UWSP fire crew commonly works with. The training session is run entirely by the UWSP fire crew and attracts participants not only from UWSP, but also from UW River Falls, as well as others who wish to become certified. This class is part of Wildland Fire Science, a new major that will be implemented at UWSP this fall and an option in resource management. The fire crew offers the basic wildland firefighter course twice a year, once in the fall as a four credit option, once in the spring as just a paid option to take where you don't get course credit, but you get it done in two weeks. Associate Professor of Wildland Fire Service and co-advisor to the fire crew, Ron Masters, said that the course would be part of the new major. It's not entirely new. What we're doing is we're building upon what's been in place. Uh, the basic fire operations that these students are getting today uh, is part of the uh, part of the course. The new program is Wildland Fire Science. It's an option in resource management uh, under human dimensions, and uh, we're starting this fall. Uh, we've got a whole list of courses all laid out. Uh, it will. Uh, it's an undergraduate option. Students will be trained in wildland firefighting. They'll also be trained in fire management, fire use, fire policy, and fire ecology. Students in the program were excited to get outside to get some hands-on experience after finishing the classroom portion. Well, I'd say with things that things like fire, you uh, you really do need to get hands-on training. Um, you can do exponential book work on it and learn that way. Uh, but unless you actually get hands-on, you're not going to be able to fully understand it. There are a lot of concepts and, and just realms of fire that you need to get hands-on and, and be able to understand it that way. Well, I'm, I'm in the fire crew, and so um, this will allow me to go out with them on prescribed burns and if the DNR calls them out. Um, I also um, work on a refuge at home, and this way I can go out on their prescribed burns, and it's just another resume booster and something that is important to have, I guess. Being able to say that you understand it, you put your hands on it, it, it really looks good and it helps you out in the long run and uh, it's just a, it's a great skill set to have. Well you definitely learn a lot more skills than just firefighting. I mean you learn how to work as a team and make sure you're, you, you communicate with each other and um, I just think it's a really good place to learn from each other I guess. While learning all these individual skills and understanding the equipment is crucial, the instructors said that the biggest thing they stress is the importance of safety and keeping humans and resources safe. There are a series of uh, basic guidelines that we need to follow when we're out working on a fire. And standard order number 10, which ties everything together, is fight fire aggressively, having provided for safety first. It's not a successful day if someone doesn't come home all right. So that's always our number one concern. It, if we can't take care of ourselves, we can't do our job. So we have to make sure that we're staying healthy, we're staying shape, in shape, and uh, we're not putting ourselves in harm, harm's way. For more campus, local, state, national, and world news, stay tuned to The Pointer at UWSP.